driver side window is all bashed in and he's got blood all over his head. Welcome to Crime Chronicles, where today we dive deep into one of the most twisted and shocking murder cases of recent years, the killing of Florida State University law professor Dan Markell. This case isn't just about a tragic loss, but a chilling web of conspiracy, family conflict, and a murder-for-hire plot that unraveled over several years. Join us as we explore the bitter divorce, the key players involved, and the relentless pursuit of justice that eventually led to some shocking arrests. The twisted and complex murder of Florida State University law professor Dan Markell remains one of the most shocking cases in recent years, not only due to its brutal nature, but also because of the web of conspiracy and motive that eventually unraveled around it. What initially seemed like a targeted killing of a prominent legal scholar would later reveal a story of family conflict, greed, and a murder-for-hire plot involving multiple players across state lines. Dan Markell was a highly respected law professor at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida, with a focus on criminal law and criminal procedure. Born in Canada, Markell was not only a scholar, but also a legal blogger, often publishing his thoughts on crime, punishment, and justice. By all accounts, Markell was a man driven by his passion for the law and justice. He was also a devoted father of two children, born out of his marriage to Wendy Adelson, a fellow legal professional. The couple's marriage, however, became a focal point in the events leading to his death. After a bitter divorce and a prolonged custody battle over their children, tensions between Markell and Adelson reached a boiling point. Wendy Adelson's family in particular would eventually become key figures in the investigation into Markell's murder as motives began to point toward more personal reasons for the crime. On the morning of July 18, 2014, Dan Markell was found shot in the head in the driveway of his Tallahassee home. Markell had just pulled into his garage after a visit to the gym when he was ambushed by the gunman. Markell's neighbors reported hearing a loud bang, and when police arrived at the scene, they found the professor clinging to life. Markell was rushed to the hospital, but later succumbed to his injuries. At first, the motive behind Markell's murder seemed unclear. There were no signs of robbery or forced entry, which initially stumped investigators. It soon became evident that this was a targeted killing, likely orchestrated by someone with personal ties to Markell. As detectives delved into Markell's personal life, the bitter divorce and custody battle with his ex-wife quickly came to the forefront of their investigation. What followed was an intense and lengthy investigation that would stretch across state lines, ultimately leading to the unraveling of a murder-for-hire conspiracy. Initially, police had few leads, but surveillance footage from a nearby property showed a suspicious vehicle following Markell's car just before the murder. This footage, combined with cell phone records, would prove crucial in identifying the perpetrators. It wasn't until May 2016, nearly two years after Markell's death, that a breakthrough came in the form of the arrests of two men, Sigfredo Garcia and Luis Rivera. Both men were from Miami, Florida, and were known to have criminal backgrounds. Garcia was identified as the gunman, while Rivera was implicated as the driver. Rivera would later cooperate with authorities, providing details that confirmed this was a murder-for-hire plot. However, Garcia and Rivera were merely the hitmen. The masterminds behind the crime were still at large. Rivera's testimony revealed that the murder plot had been orchestrated by Wendy Adelson's family, specifically her brother Charlie Adelson and their mother Donna Adelson. According to the prosecution, the Adelsons had been unhappy with the outcome of Wendy and Dan's divorce, particularly regarding custody arrangements for the children. Wendy had expressed a desire to relocate with her children to South Florida, where her family lived, but Markell had strongly opposed this, leading to ongoing legal disputes. The Adelson family's alleged involvement in Markell's murder stemmed from their deep-rooted dissatisfaction with the legal situation. Wendy's family, particularly her brother Charlie, a wealthy dentist, is believed to have been desperate to find a way to remove Dan from their lives and allow Wendy to relocate with her children to South Florida without any interference. Rivera's testimony indicated that Charlie Adelson had paid Garcia and Rivera to carry out the murder, with his mother Donna playing a key role in planning and financing the operation. 
One of the more bizarre aspects of this case was the family dynamics within the Adelson clan. Donna Adelson's overbearing nature in her daughter's life, combined with Charlie's willingness to engage in criminal activity to protect family interests, painted a picture of a family driven to extreme measures. Donna, in particular, was believed to be obsessed with her daughter's situation and made no secret of her dislike for Dan Markell. In fact, she had previously suggested paying for Wendy's ex-husband to go away, according to evidence gathered by investigators. Sigfredo Garcia was arrested for first-degree murder and after a lengthy trial in 2019, was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. Luis Rivera, who cooperated with authorities, was given a reduced sentence of 19 years for his role as the getaway driver. Rivera's cooperation was essential in implicating the Adelson family, as his testimony revealed the financial transactions and conversations that led to the murder-for-hire plot. In April 2022, nearly eight years after Dan Markell's murder, Charlie Adelson was arrested and charged with first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and solicitation of murder. His arrest was a significant breakthrough in the case, as many had speculated for years that he was the orchestrator behind the killing. Prosecutors had gathered additional evidence, including secret audio recordings that captured conversations between Charlie Adelson and other co-conspirators discussing the murder plot. These recordings ultimately led to his arrest and are expected to play a pivotal role in his upcoming trial. Donna Adelson, Wendy's mother, and Wendy Adelson herself have not been charged in connection with the murder, although they remain figures of interest in the investigation. Donna Adelson has been implicated in some of the planning and financing of the operation, but thus far, law enforcement has focused on building a case against Charlie as the primary organizer. The murder of Dan Markell sent shockwaves through the legal community, particularly among his colleagues and students at Florida State University. Markell's work in criminal justice and his dedication to legal scholarship made his death all the more tragic for those who knew him. The thought that someone so involved in promoting justice could be the victim of such a heinous crime was difficult for many to comprehend. Markell's murder also prompted discussions about the lengths to which people will go when involved in bitter personal conflicts, especially when those conflicts involve family and children. The case has become a sobering example of how toxic relationships and disputes can escalate into tragic outcomes, involving not just those directly involved, but also a broader network of criminal activity. The murder of Dan Markell remains a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked family conflicts and the devastating consequences of involving others in illegal schemes. While some of the perpetrators have been brought to justice and more arrests may follow, the story of his death continues to unfold. For many, Markell's legacy as a dedicated scholar and father will endure beyond the dark details of this twisted and complex crime. Dan Markell's murder remains a haunting reminder of how personal conflicts can spiral into unimaginable outcomes. As justice continues to unfold for those responsible, Markell's legacy as a devoted father and respected legal scholar lives on. What are your thoughts on this tragic case? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the most twisted true crime stories. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.